Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Databrink's new application in which they're introducing the world's first truly open instruction tuned LLM. Now, for the people who don't know, this is totally different from Dolly, which was actually released two weeks ago, as it's stated in this blog article. And that's in a large language model that was trained for less than $30 to exhibit chat GPT like human interactivity now we're getting dolly 2.0 which is an llm that is the latest version of the instruction tuned low level machine learning library developed by databrinks now it is designed to improve the performance and efficiency of machine learning applications by optimizing the use of hardware instructions as well as complier techniques now this is just a general idea of what we're going to be talking about throughout today's video not only are we going to talk about some of the analysis as well as the data sets of the actual large language model but we're also going to be taking a look at something that was created by using this large language model which is Pythia which is a new suit for analyzing large language models across training and scaling as well as actually using the actual large language model and this is something that we're going to be doing throughout Google Colab and we will also be installing it showing you guys how to do it on the local aspect not like thoroughly but actually giving you some insights on how to actually do it using hugging face to actually do so so before we actually get into that part of the video guys I want you guys to please subscribe guys like the video as it will help the algorithm out comment anything that you want to see in the future guys as it would mean the world to me and I just want to give you guys a thanks for always supporting me it means the world and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I've been posting a lot of different content the last few weeks and last, last few days actually. And I've been getting a lot of liking and support. So if, if you guys haven't seen those videos, there's a lot of content and value that will benefit you guys. So I definitely recommend it. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Now, one of the key features of Dolly 2.0 LLM is that it supports for mixed precision training. Now, this allows developers to use lower precision floating point arithmetic to accelerate the training process this can result in significant performance improvements without sacrificing accuracy and this is something that you can note from other basic llms because they don't focus that much on the accuracy aspect and this is something that databrinks has been putting a lot more emphasis on and the great thing is that this fine-tuned human-like generated instruction based data set can be widely used as it's now licensed for commercial use and personal use, which is absolutely amazing. Now, another important feature that I wanted to know about this new Dolly 2.0 LLM is that it supports for automatic kernel fusion. Now, what this means is that it allows the complier to combine multiple kernel operations into a single optimized operation. This can also improve performance and it will also be reducing memory usage for eliminating like basic like redundant operations that you might be running with the model now in addition to this dolly 2.0 llm also induces introduces the support for a lot of different execution processing capabilities now this will allow multiple tasks to be executed simultaneously and this will improve the overall performance by reducing the amount of time that the cpu spends waiting for the data to be loaded for calculations to be actually completed like I stated at the start, Pythia was one of the things that Dolly 2.0 was built on top of, and it's a suit for tools for analyzing and optimizing large language models. This allows developers to analyze the performance of LLMs across different training and scaling scenarios, and to optimize their models for different hardware configurations. Now, something that I really wanted to showcase was Pythia is a suit for analyzing large language models, and you can see that throughout the layers as well as the model sizes. And this is something as well as the parameters that they've been able to execute. Now in this table, the models in Pythia suit are selective with the data sets of, as well as a full list of hyper parameters. And we can see this throughout another article or not an article, a chart, which I'll show you case over here, I believe. Right here, sorry. And we can see how the Pythia actual large language model is able to have the large number like the largest models it's one of the smallest ones but 
it's able to output so many different things in terms of consistent training orders, known training orders, as well as making sure that the public and public models as well as public data are being checked upon. And this is something that I really wanted to highlight as it shows that they're one of the smallest models that has been released, but they're able to actually have the best output in terms of covering a lot of the areas. Before moving on, I wanted to actually emphasize a little bit more on the paper as it's very detailed and it has a lot of information as to how the actual language model works and operates. So I highly recommend that you check it out as it basically guides as well as builds upon what we're trying to work with uh, with Dolly. Now, moving on with the actual video, Dolly, the developments of it, the 2.0 version represents an important step forward in the field of instruction tuned LLM techniques. By optimizing the use of hardware instructions and complier techniques, Dolly is able to improve upon the performance and efficiency of machine learning applications. Now this will be revolutionary for the AI world as there's so many app possibilities for applications in a wide variety of ranges and it could be beneficial for so many different outputs and inputs for different businesses. Now focusing a little bit more on their data sets. Well, Databricks Dolly 15K contains 15,000 high quality human generated prompts. The creation of Dolly's 15K dataset was actually driven by the need for the standardization of benchmark datasets that could be used for evaluating the performance for LLM techniques. Now, traditional machines learning benchmarks such as CIFAR datasets are often too simplistic and the accuracy doesn't represent real world machine learning tasks. As a result, this LM techniques may perform way, way better than those other ones. And this is something that they wanted to put a little bit more emphasis on. Now to address this issue, Databrinks obviously created this 15K dataset now and includes a range of tasks such as the object recognition, image segmentation, which is something that Meta has been for working on as well and the natural language processing. The data set also includes a ah, sorry, a variation in image resolution as well as different things that might affect an image's color, the complexity of it, as well as more comprehensive evaluations of the LLM's performance. Something that was really interesting and something that I really wanted to put a little bit of emphasis on is that what Databrinks was actually able to do was that it decided to crowdsource amongst their 5,000 employees who were very interested in the LLM itself. And basically, they faced the challenge of ensuring that every answer is original and not copied from their existing source, as the 13K demonstrations of instructions of following behavior. And we can see that over here that they were able to set up a contest where the top 20 labelers would get the biggest prizes and we also outlined seven specific tasks. Now, with this incentive, Databrinks set up this contest where the top 20 labelers would also re like receive the biggest award and there were also outlined seven specific tasks we can see over here, which is the open question and answer. You have the closed question and answer. You have the extract information from Wikipedia, summarize information from Wikipedia, brainstorming, classification, and creative writing. This approach allowed Databrinks to actually create a high quality data set for the Dolly LLMs. And while this is also engaging for their employees with the rewards and their efforts, but this with this effort, the crowdsourcing with the data sets can also achieve a similar result to the instruct GPT model. And this can also develop their highly like intelligent data set which can be used for a lot of different purposes so it was a great way how they actually made it they just wanted to put a little bit more emphasis on it now we can see over here is an example of the open qa in databrinks dolly 15k data set and this is just an example of how their answers were and they were able to formulate the data sets now this is an example of how do I build a campfire and you can see that it is a detailed as well as a seasoned answer that gives you a very well detailed response in the context of how you want to actually prompt it. And there's also an example of brainstorming and these are some of the things that they were able to do with their data sets. 
Now, one thing that BattleBrains wanted to emphasize is that the importance of owning models and creating high quality domain specific applications without giving sensitive data to third parties. This is something that I really appreciate as they're not selling our data as well as other people's data for just money. They believe in the bias, accountability, and AI safety issues, and they believe that it should be addressed by a diverse community of stakeholders rather than a few large companies. And this is something that I really, really appreciate in the, our AI society, our world. Now, open source data sets and models encourage commentary, research, and innovation that benefit everyone from advances in artificial intelligence technology. And this is something that they're going to strive to work towards. Now, DataBrings also acknowledges that Dolly may not be the best state of art in terms of its effectiveness, but they believe that Dolly and the open source data sets will act as a seed for many follow up works, which may serve the bootstrap even more powerful language models. And basically, overall, the statement was just highlighting the importance of truly open LLMs and their basic potential to advance AI technology. It's basically saying that we're able to bootstrap and help other people out. Now, in terms of how to actually get started in using it, I linked this collab link in the description below as well as these other links. But to download Dolly 2.0 model weights, simply you can go to the Hugging Face link in the description below. And you can also visit the Dolly repo on the databanks which you can get from the GitHub in which you can actually copy the repository and install it onto your local computer. And you can download the Dolly 15K datasets. And they're continuously going to be updating the datasets and obviously you're going to be able to get the best of the best like information on their website. So I highly recommend that you keep actively checking. I believe they have a Twitter and that might be the best way you can get some information. Now, in terms of their collab, this is just a rough demo of what the actual system is. So first things first, obviously, whenever you work with demos, you obviously want to save a copy in your drive as you don't want to keep another one uh, that use the actual one that they provide. Now, first things first, you want to install the actual drivers as well as the prompts. So once you have completed that, then you can start generating and using the LLM. And in this case, one of the examples is explain to me the difference between nuclear fission and fusion and it's able to give a good response over here and a good detailed one and basically if you were to copy it if you wanted to copy you can just click the copy embed icon over here and you can paste it anywhere you want now you can also generate different types of context by running different things as well as running different scripts to help you do so so i highly recommend if you want to play around with this new different application i highly recommend that you do so using this google collab as it's very revolutionary and it's something that they're going to continuously work on overall dolly 2.0 llm is a powerful tool for developers who can basically look to optimize the performance of their machine learning applications and also use it for many different reasons and applications that might benefit them in their day basic day-to-day -day needs by taking advantage of their advanced features and leveraging the capabilities of Pythia, developers can improve the accuracy, speed, and efficiency of their machine learning models, and it can also enable them to take on more complex and challenging applications. And that's basically a gist of what Databrinks Dolly 2.0 LLM is, guys. I hope you found this video very informative. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave it down in the description below. If you want me to focus on a more different approach as to Dolly 2.0, I can definitely do so by showing you guys how to install it locally or maybe installing the different weights from Hugging Face and I can show you a tutorial on that. So if you want me to make these videos, please comment down in the description below. And with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, fellas.